लोग पहले पक्षियों की आवाज का एक प्रोजेक्ट बना रहे थे कि हमारे घर के बाहर कौन से पक्षी बोल रहे हैं वो हमें पता चले सिर्फ उसकी आवाज सुन के तो उसके लिए हमने गूगल का ओपन सोर्स डेटा लिया कोयल चिड़िया और कौए की आवाज़ हमने ली और उसका एक मशीन लर्निंग मॉडल बनाया जो लगभग 95 परसेंट जितना एक्यूरेट था तो अगर बाहर कोयल बोल रही है तो आ, हमारा मशीन जो है वो डिटेक्ट करके अपने आप ही कोयल का साउंड दिखाया ये प्रोजेक्ट फिर मैंने मेरे सर डॉक्टर किरण त्रिवेदी को दिखाया और फिर हम दोनों को आइडिया आया कि आ, ऐसे हम मच्छर का भी कर सकते हैं तो हमने ऑक्सफोर्ड यूनिवर्सिटी के द्वारा लिया हुआ मच्छर का एक डेटा लिया जिसमें से हमने एडी सी जिप्टी क्यूलेक्स और एनोफिलिस मच्छर के ऑडियो साउंड्स लिए जो लगभग 14 जी के थे और फिर उसका हमने मशीन लर्निंग मॉडल बनाया क्लासिफिकेशन के लिए और उसमें हमने नॉइस डेटा भी ऐड किया ताकि मिस क्लासीफिकेशन ना हो फिर हमने ये पूरा एक मॉडल आर्डिनो में डाला और हमारा प्रोटोटाइप जो रेडी है उसमें हमने रन किया तो वो लगभग एटी जितना एक्यूरेट है कि आ, कौन सा मच्छर है वो आइडेंटिफाई कर पाता है तो वो कंटिन्यूसली सुनता है आवाज़ को आजू की आवाज़ को और अगर वो मच्छर का साउंड है तो उसका नाम हमें स्क्रीन पे दिखाएगा और अगर कोई नॉइस है या कोई दो लोग बातें कर रहे हैं तो फिर वो नो मॉस्किटो फाउंड लिखा हुआ है दी हम बग वेबसाइट बाई विच वी एक्चुअली कलेक्टेड द डेटा फॉर दी मॉस्किटो विंग विड साउंड एंड हियर इज द वेबसाइट बाई विच वी हैव यूज दी एज इम्पल्स प्लेटफॉर्म so in this age impulse platform we have we have uploaded all the mosquito uh, audio data of different species we have labeled them with the types of the uh, types of the mosquitoes like uh, aedes aegypti anopheles culex we have also used noise because we need to classify the noise also in uh, where, when uh, in the absence of mosquitoes it should not falsely classify or falsely identify the mosquito sounds so th- this is the approach how we used these are the various blocks by which we did the classification using keras neural network Uh, platform and this is what the sample uh, waveform or the sample sound sample of the mosquito one of the mosquito types we have converted them into a spectrogram spectrogram is basically a pictorial representation of the mosquito sound which actually shows that the audio frequency has been converted into a photograph that is what the a very simple uh, way of understanding the spectrogram is all about then what we did we actually use a neural network classifier using keras and this is basically the model architecture that it has got 680 input features so after uh, after after actually creating the data, training data set we generated the features from all these mosquito sounds and we use them and here we are able to see that the training accuracy is almost uh, something around 88% and this is a confusion matrix which shows the true and false condition for various combination of the mosquito types and this is a kind of a visualization of the data and on a 3d platform or 3d plot for a single uh, sample and now let me show you that after uh, training we got the uh, we actually tested our model and on during the testing we got something around 75% of accuracy which shows that a very uh, quite good uh, approach in terms of identifying or classifying them very well and this is a kind of a 3d model for the classified data and we can even see them and we can see the output of the model during the testing now the last part of our uh, innovation is that how to deploy this usually what happens most of the ai models are very big in size something around 70 to 80 gb uh, 80 mb and we use them on computers but our concept is to use age impulse platform and we want to use a age computing kind of a thing so here we can convert this model for a, any targeted uh, hardware platform and we use arduino nano 33 ble sense which has a capability of running tiny machine learning models so our model have been converted into a header file of 18 kb and we deployed that on the hardware itself so now let me show you how it has been deployed on a very small hardware so this is basically a prototype version of our uh, device which has in house uh, arduino nano 33 ble uh, connected with a 0.9 oled display and using this we are able to identify the type of the mosquito whenever a mosquito sound will be detected by this uh, microphone here it will be able to display the name of the type of the mosquito so let me start this and we'll be able to see the live demonstration of that so right now in normal condition it shows that no mosquitoes found so now i have i have played a mosquito sound so this device will be able to identify the type you can see that it it is identifying the type of the mosquito so anopheles has been found even it is able to identify the culex also
So this was a small effort to demonstrate how to fight with the deadliest mosquito using machine learning technology, using wing bit sounds to classify them and to identify them that which type of mosquito is near us. And there is a huge impact of this innovative project and this is a proof of concept of that, that how it can help the world, that we can deploy various uh, small devices, it can identify, it can automatically spray the infectants or maybe they can kill the mosquitoes. Anyway, it is also useful in a number of ways like measured in African countries, in, in forests, etc., in smaller villages where medical health care facilities are very far away from that. So I think uh, it's uh, one of the solutions uh, using artificial intelligence to fight with the mosquito. Hope you liked it. Thank you so much from me and Harsha. Thanks a lot. विश्वकर्मा कॉलेज ना एक विद्यार्थी और एक प्रोफेसर है आज शक्य करी बता दियो तक बचाव में शक्ति डिवाइस विश्वकर्मा इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज में भरता हर शिष्यों और तंग गुरु और पोकिरन त्रिवेदी आसान बना दिया जो तुम्हारी आसपास रहता खाता कुछ नहीं पोकिरन शिक्षक और स्क्रीन पर